Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Let me. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Let's check out this Jalen video that somebody asked me to watch from Lanza. This Jaden cycle. Third time's the charm. In a hot minute since our last video on Jalen, so let's have a quick recap of what went down. She joined a Discord server for trolls. People start to harass her. She would call someone. Threatened to sh Based. shoot someone in his entire family, left Jesus. the server, and then rejoined that very server for whatever reason. Well, was it Jalen or did Jaden do it, okay? Because it's like Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. It's not the same person, okay? She sent a George Floyd joke to someone saying she'll be kneeling on his dead channel. Oh my god. No one. Channel that now has over 500k subscribers as of this video, and doubled down on it when he told her he was black afterwards. Okay, nice George Floyd joke, you racist ass bitch, LMO, I'm black. Damn. <laughs> Lastly, she got into beef with Stone Toss after they found her recent history of anti semitism How? I think racism is bad. Saying the N-word to be edgy is not racist. <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop saying the N-word and be less edgy overall since people can't seem to understand the difference. Says the Hebrew speaker, your religion grooms children. What the f Damn, 38 seconds though? <laughs> You're like on fire on that one. Jesus. Oh my god, what's happening? racism and had a live stream where she deflected the entire time as people laughed at her her controversies would die down again as people moved on but of course since you're watching oh so unfortunate you're lol cowing yourself girl stop watching this video it's gotten worse shout out to the patreon members for keeping it real and if shout out to the best podcast ever boogie2988 and Jalen will be perfect if you like to support the channel make sure to check out the link below with that being said let's get right back into the mix to see what's been happening with our favorite lol cow but first a word from today's sponsor today's video is sponsored by throne Whoa. the most that's my favorite internet access png fun YouTuber. and secure way to support your favorite content creators in their future endeavors than ever it? before you can gift an item from a content creator's wish list in similar fashion to buying your friend their very own gift interesting uh the Okay, and that's interesting. We'll just use Amazon, not Amazon wishlist. I don't know. The description below. I hope uh, you enjoy the website and thank you to Throne for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> Soon after my last video went live, Jalen went at me in that very service. Furry, God is dead. Nah, you don't know what Lanza has don't <laughs> done to me. Massive snake and cloud chasing POS. I mean, maybe that's true, but Jalen doesn't really have any charitability left for them, so it's kind of t tough to really do anything. She rejoined after they oh. harassed her and tried to get a response out of me, call me a snake and such, basically just mad I made a follow-up video on her. After this, there wouldn't be much else. She'd make her YouTube videos and people move- Yo, do you guys ever notice that, like, when we talk about, like, a trans person and we want to be affirming of their gender, we say her or him too much? Like, Jalen's uh, is a trans woman or girl. But like, I feel like we we say her to about like trans people, or we're overly affirming, like we're afraid. Her, her, like I've heard this guy said her like fifteen times, and so did I. Like it's just like natural, you know what I mean? I just, I just something I noticed. Move on now that the cycle of comfortable circle once again. Jalen is actually the edgy teenager that didn't grow up except she's twenty one. Bro, let me just tell you something, okay? Like all you twenty one year olds on the internet are fucking terminally online. I, when I was twenty one, I was immature. I feel like we're maturing slower, and a lot of that has to do, well, for one, when you blow up online. Uh, I feel like you stop maturing, especially once you like start getting money. But also, online atmospheres are very toxic and trolly. Even, um, even like for both sides, you know, progressives consider. I would consider this more of like a conservative space. You know what I mean? Everybody's like edgy and crazy. You know, there's fake screenshots going around about Jalen, probably, but whatever. I mean, I guess that's just the way she goes. The way she blows. And the entertainment was over. Things would start to ramp up in mid-December, however, as Jalen would join yet another discord server full of trolls and take the bait after they harassed her thus starting the cycle once more just delete discord jalen does not pass jalen hey uh pass. why were you yeah. so oh my god that's so mean jalen does not pass that's just mean everybody's on their journey okay the fuck hey, you, piece of shit, you fucking dirty go back to your country you fucking Holy shit whoa, whoa. Silly. Hey. Hey. no in our last video we slept <sighs> jesus christ i mean listen do it <laughs> <laughs> like okay, so you know if you're gonna if you're gonna tell a trans person they don't pass, that's really shitty. So if they call you the N word, I mean it's not right, it's wrong. Never do that. But I can understand the anger a little bit. That's like if somebody like rightfully called out that I have a little tiny penis. I have the right to say whatever I want. I'm, that's offensive. It makes me upset. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Delete Discord, sis. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? 
get a, get some fucking trans affirming friends. Go be friends with Keffels or something. I don't know. The Keffels did a bad thing recently too, right? I don't even know. Slightly touched upon how Jalen had been defending Natty Forces, a Roblox YouTuber known for a multitude of disturbing things that you can see for yourself. Well, I watched that video. I will say the Natty Forces situation seems to all boil down to like one person. Like there was like two people that was in like a two or three year age range, which is fine. I don't care. And then one person where they were flirting with them and that person was like never confirmed their age. Uh, which is a big no-no, but I don't think it was like predatory. So I will say, people, when it, online people will, people will like pedophile bomb everything. Everything is pedophilia now. Like everything's grooming, everything's rape, everything's pedophilia. We go a little too far. Everybody does it on like all both sides: the conservative-ish side, the progressive-ish side. You guys got to Everybody's got to chill a little bit. You know, not every inappropriate interaction needs to be predatory. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it, it could be like, hey, this is a bad thing without, like, you know, saying that they're actually a pedo. They're not. It doesn't seem like they are from what I've seen. But the way things advanced is a story in of itself. Jalen and Natty would get into a disagreement on Twitter. And in doing so, Natty would leak these DMs or Jalen would... I get you like the sex 12-year-olds or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. But that shit isn't normal. How old was she? Oh, wow. You know what? She was 15. Forget the trip to America. Okay. Fuck you, truly. I guess they're having like a, they're crying about each other and then they're going back and forth. Be like, you did a bad thing. Okay. Sure. Hello, everyone. Ah! Should we call someone? Aiden, socially or something? I don't know how far we're going. No, sir. Friends with such, with Nat canceling the trip to meet up in America together in the process. They've since made up shortly after and Nat deleted the leaks. But after seeing. Why did you leak? This is a big problem, okay? Is if you have a falling out with somebody, you don't have to leak all of the information. You could just not talk to them anymore. Like, very terminally online thing to do, where if you get in, you have an altercation with somebody, to, like, start, oh, I'm going to expose them. Just respectfully walk away. And be done with it. You don't have to make a performance out of everything. Seeing all this, YouTuber Achita will make a video on December 27, 2022, calling out Jalen for being friends with such an awful person and knowing about her past. The point is, is that these two Ooh, stayed in connection God, long know. after Natty Forsyth got exposed, and Jaden only cares about the fact that Natty Forsyth was actually 16, 12 year olds because Natty Forsyth, I don't know, like backstabbed Jaden. It sounds like one of them was 15. It sounds like it was 15 and not 12. But. Socially or something. <sighs> Jalen will make a response video in which they say Nat is not a pedo to them, which for those who've seen my video going over her awful history and Nat's video calling for the destigmatization of pedophilia. How heavily stigmatized non-offenders causes more child abuse. Well, listen, I'm not going to watch that video, but I'm going to tell you right now that, like, that's not... Pedo to them? Which, for those who've seen my video going over her awful history and Nat's video calling for the destigmatization of pedophilia... Uh... No, listen, okay, the title says how heavily stigmatizing non-offenders causes more child abuse. They're not wrong. I'll give you a quick rundown on it, right? So, first of all, we divide this into two spots. Non-offenders and offenders. If you're somebody who's harmed a child, you go off to the island, guys, okay? If, if you can't go off anywhere else or else I'll lose my YouTube channel. <laughs> you go off to the island. You know what I mean? I can't say anything worse or I'll get uh, in trouble. People who have it offended, right? People who have, like, thoughts. The idea is if you can create a, a comfortable space for them to go to, to a therapist, not to me because I'm not going to like you, but go to a therapist to get the mental health help you need before you cross that line and abuse a child, opening the, like, people with those ideas up to get therapy and help it'll prevent them from hurting a child that's pretty much the whole thing and it makes sense because if we because if we're like oh if you're like let's say you're not offending pedophile if we say we're going to kill you then no pedophiles are going to come forward to therapists and get the mental health help they need and more children are going to get raped that's the whole idea so it's not like oh, like it's obviously uncomfortable but you know you're talking about people who have it offended and it's just about like getting them to therapy so they don't hurt a child so like ultimately their take will reduce the amount of harm to kids um and so this is one of those things where we pearl clutch a little bit too much where it's like oh, see they're normalizing no nah, man just trying to help kids I used to be on the side where I'm like, no, that's disgusting. Like, we shouldn't be helping these people. But then it's like, okay, now I understand. If they haven't offended, then like, you know what? It would make sense. It would make sense to help them before they do some some bad stuff. It's an uncomfortable take, but it's just like the truth. It's just going to help. Um, and so like this doesn't, you know, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't, uh, this isn't like a negative thing for them to say. I'm assuming that's what they're going to say because it's pretty. It's pretty like no. It's a pretty. At this point, it's pretty normal take to have. We're at that point, so it's not like a unique take anybody's having.
That's up for debate till the end of time. But Natty Forsyth is not, in fact, a pedo. These are false allegations that Nat has debunked on multiple occasions. But she would make another video basically going over the Natty clips we saw on my own of her admitting to asking for pictures semi-ironically from the underage girl. I didn't yeah, even right. ask him voice notes like, but... And again, I don't think that they knew their age that time. Oh, come on, it will only take one second. Like, I was asking semi-ironically. I'm sorry, but like, what the f***? Does semi-ironically mean. Now during this Jalen and a Cheeto beef, she would get into another one with YouTuber Grimsy, and oh, he would drop another Grimsy. example of Jalen still hiding her hatred towards religion once more. Also, Jaden casually told a boldface lie to their audience, and that is that they do in fact hate Christian people. Makes What's brain dead is a Cheeto to- It makes sense that they hate Christian people, since Christian people don't really like LGBTQ people, so... I don't blame him for that. Go on a video and misgender me because he, in quotations, doesn't respect me. Matthew I replied, you said you want- a member. Thank you so much for the small cup, brother. To put his people in a gas chamber, grow the f up, disrespect is reciprocal. J <laughs> Aiden then says, what's dumb is a Cheeto to falsely accuse my friend of being a pedophile. I said, then prove him wrong, which they never f***ing will, because believe it or not, their friend is a f***ing pedophile. And then Jaden said, honestly, a Cheeto is the prime example of why I hate Christians. Nice. I think they knew that that one was going to be screenshotted, so they changed it later to why I hate most Christians, but we all know what you meant. It gets worse, though, as he make a follow-up video that shows Jalen saying some extremely suspect stuff on Twitter that hadn't been seen before. And somebody sent me a- Damn, Jalen's really just like a lol cow at this point. Gotta get offline, Jalen. Let's take a break for a little bit. The more you interact with the people who don't like you, the more they're gonna feel like interacting with you. If you just kind of stop, then you're they don't. They're, it's not fun to them anymore, and they're gonna stop giving a shit about you. So, uh, screenshots of Jalen saying in the Jalen News team, CP, which is child born by the way, could be protected under free speech. <laughs> what? I don't even. <laughs> Why would you say that? As well as free speech is not a thing on. Is that like a troll? I couldn't even tell anymore. <laughs> it's so dumb. The internet it never has been. Otherwise, CP wouldn't be banned. What's so bad about restricting hate on the internet? If you Wait, what? Oh. She's on a. Wait. You can restrict gore and other illegal content. If it actively causes harm, don't have platforms have a responsibility to ban it. I'm so confused. Don't these two statements clash with each other? CP could be protected under free speech. Free speech is not a thing on the internet and never has been. Otherwise, CP wouldn't be banned. What's so bad about restricting hate on the internet if you can restrict gore? I think, maybe I'm interpreting this wrong. Jalen's trying to say that CP would be protected under absolute free speech, but we don't have free speech. But not having free speech is a good thing. Uh, I'm being super charitable here. I think that they're just, they're trying, I think this is just misguided because CP is harmful to kids. So it doesn't, it's not a free speech thing at all. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out why you would say this, you you silly goose. And she would also make another video basically just talking more shit after Jalen told her Discord server that he wasn't worth her time and pretty much just clowning on her. Basically okay. nothing we haven't seen yet. Jalen would end up showing everyone that Achito certainly was worth her time as she would make a response video to his last two, trying to dumb down the Natty story as a he said, she said situation. And it's because of this situation essentially being a he said, she said type scenario that's kind of complicated. It's oh, that's partially true. It's sure. a situation where you can't really say definitively like yes no. oh this is the worst thing of all Jalen's playing the 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 game that Justin Roiland or whatever made and he's a bad guy now so cancel for playing high on life am I right is that the game the game that's telling the truth or uh -huh. no Nat is lying Nat Nat knew their age <laughs> is why they continue to have a platform as we've seen in my Natty video they admitted to thinking the girl was 14 when they were speaking to her before being told she was allegedly 12 so for Jalen to say this is her either being with well, I think it, the idea is that they didn't know that that was the age, so... ...bly dishonest or just stupid. Grimsy will sum up people's reactions in another video. Dude, no! No! Bro, are you a fake Grimsy in my chat? You have a Z in your name, alright? And they have a... Grimsy has an S in their name. Look at this. Look at this fake person. Look at this fake person. This fake person pretending to be Grimsy in my chat. Jeez. Why? Why would you make this video? And Jalen will also upload yet another video about Cheeto that same day, this time on her secondary channel, Jalen Live, in which she would say she actually doesn't know the full story behind what Nat has done. Meaning that Jalen has either been defending them without even knowing what she's talking about, or just feigning responsibility. I mean, you get to a point where it's like, if somebody, let's say, listen, there's going to be things that are always going to happen in everybody's life. And this is a bad picture, Jalen. I'm just going to, sorry. And <laughs> I just feel disrespectful just for putting that there. And sometimes you just have to say your piece and move on. Because you're just not you're beating a dead horse at that point. You said what you had to say, and that's it. 
you know that's life Ugh. because i don't know the full story honestly i don't know the truth i wasn't there a few days later after okay. things died down jenna would drop yet another video about the situation saying that roblox youtuber rubinson defended that in the live stream when she plays a clip of him literally explaining the story incorrectly because he probably doesn't give that much of a fuck again showing jalen either being outright dishonest to her audience or just stupid oh uh, uh natty yeah yeah he uh he had controversy because i think he had like a snapchat group and it's just like with his buddy <laughs> And someone added a uh, 13 year old and didn't tell anyone and he was like making sexual jokes and stuff oh, okay. and yeah but once once he figured out her age he, he like they kicked her out and well, that's good she would then say she would stay out of controversy from then on and just get back to making videos grimsy and a cheetah would respond once again but it's literally what we just talked about along with recaps of stuff you already seen so let's move on throughout this whole mess there's a pattern of Jalen saying incorrect things or painting the story in a different light than the actual truth normally i would think it's just her misinforming her audience because she has a track record to be very bad at explaining things but i feel there's a bit more going on here i'll save that for later though because it'll wrap things up in a much easier way for y'all to understand okay. now despite Jalen saying she was going to stay out of controversy from that point onwards this video isn't close to over yet and you'll soon find out why on January 26, 2023, YouTubers Keemstar and Pat God would kick off the first episode of their brand new podcast by interviewing Jaden and Cheeto. And while most of it is stuff we've already talked about, there is one thing she said that I found pretty interesting. Jalen says that Nat had made attempts on their life before and she's gone out of her way to talk her out of it when she feels bad. It's I mean, that makes sense. Trans people um, <laughs> have a higher, you know, chance of that stuff. So Keemstar reacts as such. They've uh, attempted to, like, take their own life, like, numerous times. And uh, I, I, it's it's like a, okay, it's like a okay, difficult... okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Things scenario. have changed. Things have changed, right? If this individual involved in all this horrible stuff, right, is suicidal, and when people talk to him, his friends like Jalen, he's telling them I'm suicidal, whatever. Jalen trying to stop that from happening and trying to give some level of support. All right, makes sense. You know, just a friend watching another. Friend sure that's fair friends back even if the friend is a creep it makes sense to not want them to commit however Jalen then barely explains the dms that natty leaked and doesn't explain what she exactly said but keemstar and pat got find out a couple minutes later which completely 180s the entire conversation at hand and so i i messaged nat being like yo why why are you defending this person like this person is is a creep and so i kind of out of anger because they said something out of spite to me they were like oh go cry on twitter about people calling you a man or something and i was like well just because you uh sex 12 year olds doesn't mean that it's uh normal for this guy to message 15 year old so what happened was uh i, I what happened was Jalen got angry at this person and decided to like be kind of a dick so it's pretty basic they there. said some like i i told them to overdose on on pills which <laughs> at least they're being trans affirming because uh women tend to overdose on pills and men men are more effective you know they just grab a they grab an arm of fire. You know what I mean? This is what they had done in, in the past. And so... God damn! Oh, God. Person, by the way. I think the biggest issue is that they leaked it, though. Jeez. Damn! Wait! Oh, wait! Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! You said that to Natty Forceps? Yeah. The same so, person? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! The same person <laughs> that you were claiming to be consoling in their DMs because they were suicidal? <laughs> you told a suicidal hey, person man. to swallow pills. Oh, yeah. God. Oh. Commentary community is based, baby. Based, based edge lords. Oh, what the? Fuck? And so Jaylen, now you have that. to absolutely. That's a kind Jaylen. of a rare Jalen W. Jalen, you absolutely That's have to go w. with Cheeto to church and ask for forgiveness. That's. You can come wrong. with me. But I just find that it. Is I, wrong. I find it just no. I find it crazy that like 20 minutes ago, uh, Keem was talking about Jalen like consoling them for being suicidal, and like Jalen's like, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to help them, but now <laughs> Jalen's telling them to swallow a bottle of pills and kill themselves. That's just weird. Oh my god! <laughs> if anything, this just shows how fake Jalen is. One moment she's consoling someone for feeling like they want to commit, then the very next she's telling that same person to overdose over a small little disagreement. Could be. Could be fake. I think it's just unhinged. I think that, like, there's a, a lot of extreme emotions at play here, and they're not, they're not monitoring their emotions particularly well, so... This shows just how mentally unstable Jalen is, and the next instance takes things a step further if you can believe it or not. The very next day on January 27th, Jalen, for with some reason, joined a Discord server full of trolls that don't like her at all, similar to that clip we saw at the very beginning of this video, like those people that misgender her constantly to try to get a rise out of her because they're complete- Hey, what's going on, brother? ...assholes and such. After they started to piss her off in the server, she would go mask off once more and say some choice things, and in a call she would- <laughs> <laughs> say some choice things okay for a base <laughs> completely lose it no one else should care i find it just really funny that they like oh. they say on twitter that all transphobic people are pedophiles and just being openly transphobic towards so fringo that and him okay. that's not being transphobic i can make 41 percent and just being openly transphobic towards fringo that's not being transphobic. I can make 41% jokes. Also, Ringo's literally, Ringo's also literally making the same jokes. It's so dumb. I think that uh, Jalen's argument here is I'm trans. I can make trans jokes. I get it. But also you shouldn't, you should just not. 
I mean, <laughs> okay. It's like, what the f*** are you talking about, n***a? Like, what the f***? <sighs> this is why black people don't like trans people, Jalen. Okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are you doing? Are you retarded? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Like, you're, not, you're, not black, you're not black, Jalen. You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that. Are you racist? I am black. Jesus. I am you're black. Oh, hypocrites. You, you don't okay, know calm what, down, buddy. Calm Jaylen. down. You don't know that? you. I'm literally like, oh. actually. You. Oh. Do you want me to kill myself? Is that what your goal is? Oh, my God. This is horrible. You gotta stop talking to these people. Is Jalen chilled the fuck out or no? You people are literally what? driving me. How is that? Insane. Day <laughs> <by> day. <laughs> what the hell is wrong? Jalen, Jalen, listen. Like on the one hand, they're probably constantly. This guy does Minecraft. They're probably constantly trolling Jalen. But on the other hand, it's like you could, you can disengage from it. <clears throat> you know, like you don't have to. You don't have to be there. You know. And I understand it can be addictive to like Google your name or whatever, or like engage with people about like the discourse about like some of the things that they don't like you about. And this, but you just gotta stop. What are you doing? You're being uh, a little too based right now. You know. I mean, you just gotta chill. You know, it's 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 the the worst thing I think about this whole situation too is I'm looking at like I'm gonna look at Jalen's uh, I'm looking at Jalen's uh, page. This guy does Minecraft. And like, what's gonna make this worse for Jalen? Is that their um, their videos are doing worse, and that's not even a criticism. That's just a part of your content. But part of it is like about all the controversy surrounding them. Um, and I say the biggest part about it is like there's a there's like a mental stressor. Like when you're constantly under fire, it, it deteriorates you mentally a little bit, and it makes your content just worse, right? And there's like literally maybe let's say ten percent of the people if that even care about any of the controversy surrounding Jalen. Most people don't give a fuck. But when you constantly like when you think they give a fuck, most people don't care. Like they're like, okay. All right, I don't care about that. You know, so it's like <sighs> you gotta stop. Okay, you gotta stop. Hey, oh my listen. god, why listen. would you say that? Why why are you going crazy? Why are you molding? Why are you having a breakdown? That is literally your intention. That is what you're trying what? to do uh, because my Sounds a little bit like Ernie. The intention on Twitter was to racial. Because you enjoy it, because it's pleasurable to you. Which is because funny. you're all fucking sociopaths and you all fucking feed off of it. It's fucking oh, psychotic. Right, right, right. And I can't fucking handle it. Right, Three so, um, fucking right, years so, of this shit. Every. All right, Jalen, I'm going to give thing. you advice. Fuck like, like, you. Listen, the problem I can't fucking <laughs> deal with this shit. With it's just how you're reacting. I've had fucking enough. I've had, had enough, enough. enough. Oh, all of it. Told you He's had enough. Oh, it gets worse though, as more people join the call during this meltdown, and in doing so, Jalen was straight up dox herself, trying to read out her full address so someone could swat her. No one cares. No one cares about the f truth. You, you all just lie. You twist them and nip them. Jalen, we need a talk. Okay. Jalen, we need a talk. Oh, I don't think okay, you're actually, I don't actually, hold on. I will dox myself. I want you to swat me. Hold on. Hold on. Who wants my address? Tries reading address as people drown her voice out. Oh, that's good. At least they're uh, at least they're drowning the voice out. <laughs> the the virtuous troll guys. <laughs> oh my! She was soon to delete her Twitter account after this whole mess, but the damage had already been based to trans posts. Oh, Done. God. As you guys can tell, Jalen has a habit of joining places full of trolls and haters and people that just want to fuck with her because they're assholes. This has been a constant yeah. cycle she finds herself in, and in doing maybe it's a sexual thing. Maybe Jalen's like jerking off. Oh, fuck. Call me a call me a teasler. Oh, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so she goes completely mask off because that's what they want her to do, so they can go on Twitter and post a clip for easy likes. She knows all this and yet keeps going deeper into these servers because she's either stupid or is that desperate for any kind of human interaction. I think maybe that's part of it. Is that the listen, ma'am? Okay, let me get. I'll get like a little real. I have a friend. His name is Anthony. I love Anthony. He's a great guy. Uh, he's part of the podcast. If you guys remember that, go look it up. It's very funny. Go look up the episode I was in. There's a thing where in groups, a lot of times in a group, especially of a lot of people, there's a lot, there's like a person that people like to bully a little bit and it's all in good fun, but that's what people like to do. Um, And what happens is that person, 
usually finds themselves getting bullied in most circles that they exist in and it becomes very normal and it's like that's just that they just learn that that's just how people interact with them and so it's like i think that jalen probably think it's probably one of those things where every group jalen is in um they bully her to an extent and so she's just like well this is just what friends is, is being is what it is this is just what it's like to be friends with somebody is to just constantly get bullied and it's something that i like i don't think i could ever understand because i'm such an alpha male um but it's probably why Jalen goes into these servers and gets bullied because, like, that is probably the only interaction that they get is getting bullied. And it really comes down to trying to find friends that are just nice to you, you know? And I'm not taking away any of the bad things Jalen's done because they've done some bad shit. But, like, you know, you have to, you have to take a deep breath and find better friends. Okay? Easier said than done. But. You know, something that needs to be done. Maybe, honestly, stop making online friends. Um, maybe go and go to like an LGBTQ club and hang out with some gay people once a week or something. You know, <clears throat> I don't know where they live. If we heard the docs, we would have known. But maybe do something like that. Um, so that's what you got to do. Play. I dug around to see how long this cycle had been going on, and I found the very first instance when the Jaden cycle began, as this kind of behavior has been going on for over four years now. Back when she was known for making videos on the Minecraft server 2B2T, the Reddit page would constantly troll her for posting her videos in it, such as getting her book banned like we saw in my last video, and now seeing these posts themselves. Someone would reach out to her saying she keeps poking the bear and getting herself involved in places that don't want her, and obviously troll her in response, and she wouldn't heed their warning at all and instead just called them names and such, saying how nobody is forced to click on her videos. Someone else would call her an asshole for attacking the dude and being an ignorant person in general, and she would respond with the simple nah. This is quite literally where the Jaden cycle started, and looking around some more leads to other familiar things. She's been at this behavior for over four years now. Why isn't Oh, it's not going to read your message. I hate stream elements. Papa, can you believe the United States government needed a 520 monkey ace to take out just one uh, camel white balloon? I can believe it. Those camel whites can be a little dangerous. No, and has shown no change whatsoever, is it in fact getting worse? As she milked Technoblade's cancer and death, it still uses the same language only an edgy teenager would use as heard by her Discord calls. Now, I mentioned at the end of the last chapter, I have a theory as to why Jalen keeps defending Natty. Well, I'm sure in all those spaces, everybody's pretty edgy. Um, there's just some people who take it too far. You know, like Jalen, apparently. So let me lay it out for y'all. In late October 2022, someone would hack Jalen's Twitter account and leak a lot of really personal shit. One of those includes a conversation Damn. between Grimsey and Jalen, as they were on good speaking terms at the time. I messaged Grimsey himself to see if it was real and not the hacker posting bullshit, in which he would reply yes, asking how I even got them in the first place. Confirming that the hacker leaked real messages, it leads me to the hacker named 4chan. To these next messages, as they would also leak DMs between Natty and Jalen, in which okay. Nat says they like Jalen too, which implies that. I think she's also into me like you are. I like you too, but I need time and things may also work out with her and you. No idea. Same with me and Hannah. Although you say it isn't, it isn't really with me and Hannah. I just got to see the doctor. Then I can start thinking about it. any of this realistically. Okay, some cringe shit. Jalen said the same to her beforehand. If there's any doubt this is Nat, okay. their XGF is named Hannah and the name Hannah is said further down the sentence. Okay. Natty says, I'm thinking she's also into me. And this leads me to another theory. As the hacker would also leak messages between Natty and Jalen's current GF from the hacker known as 4 Natty's point of view, given the messages are dated in European style, in which they talk about their intimate body parts together, with the GF sending- Okay, my nipples are big. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is stuff that we shouldn't even be seeing. This is like private, weird conversation between these people. Mine's small, sensitive AF, though. Also milked once. People brush past, and I'm like trying not to moan. Oh my god. Need a cold picture showing off her body to Nat. If you remember, Natty and Jalen were supposed to and potentially still meeting up together as seen by the recently- Who cares? If they're gonna meet up and rub their fucking mushy wieners together, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. That's their, that's their business. God bless them. Messages from Nat. And when you see that they like each other and are both <sighs> seemingly interested in the GF, this makes me Whatever. wonder if Jalen has been defending Nat not out of ignorance, but because she has a thing for them. This would explain the constant defense that Jalen has been running for Nat, even in the comments on my video on them. On her YouTube community tab, she would post and delete a message saying depending on how the public responds to the Natty Forces situation on Keemstar and Pat God's podcast, only then would she make her decision to drop Nat or not. Showing well, that's pathetic, to be honest with you. Hey, what's going on? Because to me, it's one of those things where, like, you know, you don't need to wait for public opinion on a topic to have an opinion on a topic. You know what I mean? Just 
you just have to stop running defense. Just let the, the topic die out. Every time you def respond, you just, just more and more attention to it. And how far she's willing to keep Nat in her circle despite the awful things she's done. <clears throat> it's just a theory that I got, but the things rationally add up together. So a this will be very interesting theory. to dig into further once more stuff comes out in the future. Jalen okay. has recently posted an apology video on her second channel where none of her audience will actually see it. Okay. In which she rambles saying she knows she keeps getting herself into these situations where people troll her and say bad things and how she's going to better herself. But this has happened so many times now it doesn't mean shit because she keeps doing all these things over and over again and it's her responsibility to stop all this. She has shown again and again and again and again that she can't control herself as far back as four years ago and she needs to leave the internet and get some serious mental help. You want to know what she did after making that video? She joined yet another Discord server full of trolls that don't like her because she can't control herself. It's ridiculous. As much as I dislike her from- Well, I would say put some responsibility on the trolls too, you know. You well, know, obviously, she could walk away, but the trolls don't have to troll her, so there's something to keep in mind. Personal reasons, I truly mean this in good faith, but please leave the internet, Jalen. This is getting to the point where it's not even entertaining anymore. It's just sad to see you constantly fuck yourself over and over again. Not everyone wants you off the internet because they hate you. Me, along with many others, actually care a little bit about your well-being, even though we have no reason to because of all the heinous shit you've done and involved yourself in. You say it's good for your mental health to make content when everyone knows it's not anymore. At one point, that might have been true, but now it's only because you love making a bunch of money, but are struggling now that your channel is dying. Hey. Money makes them money. Hey, money makes me happy. <laughs> In the meantime, I, along with many others, will be waiting to see what happens next and if things get worse from this point onwards. Okay. So here's what Jalen has to do to get back into the good graces. It's going to take a couple of years. Okay. But here's the pipeline disconnect yourself from the trolls. Okay. Get on HRT. <laughs> Keep making content that makes you that you have a positive relationship with. Not necessarily a tons of views, but positive relationship with that makes you happy. And as you transition and you become um, and you turn into like uh, an attractive trans woman, all these weird little uh, trolls that used to hate you are going to want to fuck you. And boom, you've made it back in. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend. There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face 